Today we draw my most favourite insect of all, the praying mantis. I just love this insect so much. I just love the way the eyes just look back at you like a cartoon character. So, let's get started. Starting off with a line. And at the end of this line, we're going to draw a triangular shape. It's like a triangle pointing down, but we don't do the point. We just sort of cut it off. We are now going to do the thorax, which is like a bit of a bracket there. And a longer bracket down here is going to be the wings and the body. So that's the normal insect shape. We're going to put a couple of like zeros here, like squashed circles for eyes. We may adapt them a bit later. A couple of little bumps there. That's where the antennae come out of. Just draw some lines like that. Now the mouth parts. Well, first we're going to put a little dip there. So a little bit of shape there. And out here, like brackets that are... These are the mouth parts. The funny little mouth parts that they use to eat things with. It's a bit like Predator. Now I'm going to thicken up the thorax here a bit. Come into there a bit. Need to be a little bit longer. Swelling out there a bit. Straight line's just a guide. We're just drawing around that straight line. A couple of lines down like this is going to be his arms. That's his upper arm. Now I'm going to put his like his forearm. So I'm going to make it swell out a bit. So it's like skinny brackets that are stretched out both ways. This one's going to come up here a bit more. So not, not, not really straight lines, so sort of curved lines. A little bit of a dip there. That's his wrist. And that's where what I call the hands coming down. I think I call them hands because I used to play praying mantis when I was a little kid and used to pretend I was a mantis. And off to the end of these like hand claw things is like another little mini claw which gives it a bit of extra grip and that's very flexible and it grips around the insects when they catch them. Now we're going to do the clawy bits. See there, it's like an upside down letter U, and then we do more next to them. To do a whole series, I'm doing them to a bit of an angle too, like that, so they're not even. And down this major claw here, I'll put a little guideline into that side. Again, it's like the capital letter U put on its side, and all joint together, and leaning a bit forward. Here's a bit tricky because it's behind that front arm. But you do the best you can. Just don't draw over the front arm. That's the thing. It looks like a pair of good catching devices there. I'm going to make the the, uh, the wing a little bit longer, I think. Uh, it looks a bit short. So I'm going to make the wing here. And the first shape is going to be the abdomen. That's looking a bit better. It's not any species, it's a very generic praying mantis here. It has a couple of little bits coming off the end of its abdomen there. And this is all in sections. So you've got to break up that shape in sections. Might go in a little bit there because the legs are going to come down here. So I'm going to make like three legs come down here to start with. It's the back leg. Um, this is the front leg. Oh, I'm going to have another leg from the other side coming down there. And just so I know it's from the other side, I might shade it a bit there. 
it's colouring a bit darker there. That front leg comes out like this. And at the end here, it's got a funny shape a bit like this. Which might make a bit of a join happening there. Now back leg, this one's coming out this way. Got the line a bit close. Now let's go over it. Make it a bit thicker. It's going to go back here. And again that funny little bit at the end. Now this one, this is the other front leg that's going forward there. And I think I'll make it come down and cross just through there. And where's the other leg? Okay, so it's going to go there, and that long bit's going to come out here. You're going to see it, it's coming out there. Okay, now we're going to do this little bit here, just towards the end, so it's level with that one. And that funny little bit at the end there. And put a little bit more claw on the end of those. And that's it. So now you can see he's got two back legs, two front legs, two front arms. I'm going to make these eyes just a little bit more triangular, not so round. So almost like an upside down teardrop or a fat one. Now the eyes, just putting in dots in for eyes. So I love about them, they look like some sort of Muppet or something, like a cartoon character. Right, darken up these bits. I'm going to go through, just darken up a bit, put a bit of shade here. It's just very gentle colouring in sections. Then under here, very heavy colouring to make that darker. Darken up this. Bit of a line there. And again, shade under where it goes, under the thorax. We'll join. So I'm just darkening them up a bit. Darken that other arm. I'll put a little bit of a line on those, a bit of detail, a bit of shade there. Put that arm behind. Darken that further leg a little. Darken up that leg. Now here the abdomen. We're going to shade the whole thing very, very gentle. Underneath the wing, we're going to make it a bit darker. Now under each of these segments, we're going to make it a little bit darker. Now with the wing we're going to do a bit of a pattern like this. See I don't take the line right out to the edge because it's going to be shiny on the back. See that's, so we'll leave that. Now between each one just a few little dashes like this for detail for the wing. And this is what we're doing instead of shading here we're just doing some detail. And where the wing is in the light we don't see the detail. This here looks a bit light, so I'm going to just darken that bit. Darken that, make it look like it's from behind. And just putting the pencil to the side, sideways, very, very gentle. And give it a bit of shade under here, make it look like it's on the surface of something and under the claws, a little bit under the feet, going back to that main body of shadow there. This one's a bit tricky here. Might even just curve it around like that, won't matter. So it's very, very gentle shading. Now here, where it touches the ground, a little bit darker, just a tiny bit darker. A little bit darker there, a little bit darker there. It's going to be 
darker hit underneath where the abdomen's hitting. I might darken that up too. So dark there, but here leaving it light. See that? Very important to leave that light. And there is our praying mantis. If you've enjoyed this video, why not check out some of my other videos and maybe subscribe. There's a link right there for that. If you want to see me get up close and personal and sketch some live venomous snakes, there's a link right there for that one too. And if you want to see more art videos and how to draw videos, there's a link there. Hope you guys have really enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.